They appeared to be among the very select few married at first sight success stories from the previous season. Peggy Rose even believed that she and George Burt would outlast the last surviving pair from their series, Tasha J and Paul Leba. But George ended things as soon as MAFS concluded. Peggy now asserts that she later learned of his infidelity from a Valentine's Day message. He refutes these assertions. Peggy, 33, talks candidly about their breakup in an exclusive interview, saying she went through hell in the months that followed. In December, a few weeks after the last episode of MedAFS aired, alarms began to sound. According to her, boys enjoy attention, particularly when they haven't received it previously. They seem to get a little conceited and think they're in demand. He even admitted to me on the television that all of his ex-girlfriends have wanted him sexually. Who makes that claim? That characterizes the kind of person he was. After that, he began acting strangely around Christmas, and I realized that I had to trust my instincts. However, she continued to live with George and celebrated her birthday in early January by traveling to Paris with him. She goes on, saying, Remember that he has always claimed that he is quite sexual and that stuff wasn't appropriate. I thought, this is going to take a lot of work. It feels different now. Something has occurred. Then, at the end of January, he expressed his unhappiness, but he declined to disclose our breakup to the public because he didn't want to deal with the attention and opinions of others while still being devastated. Hold on, you're the one who broke up with me and are heartbroken, I thought to myself. You can't handle it, so you don't want to tell anyone. However, my response was, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Valentine's Day Shocking Revelation It was decided that Peggy and George's would let their supporters know that their romance was over in a joint statement. However, on Valentine's Day, Peggy informed her followers that a female had messaged her with images and video proving George's had gone on two dates with a different girl in December. You can't get away with anything when you are in the public eye, she declares. It is impossible to deceive someone and think you would get away with it. It is impossible to converse with another girl in secret. I was devastated. I still recall crying uncontrollably. In the episode, I think I followed my instincts, which is difficult because I did put George's before my family and disregarded their worries about George. To be truthful, even though they trusted George as well, my family eventually came to love him, which is difficult. Although I feel like I kind of let my family down, I have to accept that it was my choice, my fault, and I made my own bed in the end. Now that Peggy is dating a new man she met on a night out, and she adores the fact he's not a star, she believes that George's breakup with her was the best thing that's ever happened. She continues, I am quite a private person. Yes, I did live my life on television, but not for the sake of notoriety. My intention wasn't to reveal every detail of my life to strangers. I wanted love, so that's why I did it. My brother is contentedly wed. My parents get along well together. You may think I want that, which is why I did it. I wanted that for myself, not for anyone else, but my mum puts up with my dad being a bit of a freak. And that's the difficult part, I suppose. But no, this individual isn't well known. He's not a millionaire, he's just a regular guy. The fact that Peggy's new boyfriend aspires to have a family, something George never desired, is another plus. I want someone who wants children as well, she says, it's difficult for me because I want a family, but in each partnership, there must be compromises. George didn't want children. Furthermore, despite George's declaration that he didn't want children, children are very important to me, I was prepared to remain with him. So yes, I am now seeing him. I only hope this is the one. Men are difficult to trust. Until he asks her to be his girlfriend, Peggy won't formally announce their relationship to the public. I feel like that's gone nowadays, the woman remarks. When you go on a date with someone, they automatically assume it's an exclusive relationship that they can still probably go out, cheat, and do anything they want. You must be devoted and faithful. I think that's all you can do, so until there's a name on our relationship, whatever it is, I'm going to keep my options open and just trust my gut. Peggy also acknowledges that she has trouble trusting people, particularly in light of George's purported infidelity. She says, I was surprised that George's did what he did because I didn't think he would. It got me to thinking, how can I trust anyone else who isn't in the public eye, if I publicly said that I'm going to trust this person, and I put my all into it, risking my life for him, and he's done that. Peggy acknowledges that it is difficult for him to know that she was on MAFS because he is not accustomed to having his life shared on social media, 
but she is making an effort not to let it bother her. Obviously, I married a stranger, and I get that that must be upsetting, the woman remarks. However, the reality is that you have to accept someone for who they are and that the past is the past when you're with them. I'm not questioning him about the number of girls he's slept with or any such thing. I'm taking him at face value, so I'm not posing the bothersome queries. And while everything is going well so far, I feel like it's really difficult to trust men anymore. But I'm going to stay unmarried for the rest of my life if I don't trust someone. It's just the two of us. This relationship gives me hope, and all I'm trying to do is trust him. Are you planning a wedding? Peggy is even considering getting married again at this point. To be honest, I thought that my marriage to George would be the only marriage, she admits. George's was the one who consistently told me, no, we're going to do it properly again. No, we don't need to, I replied. Let's just have babies, I said, but then I realized, oh my gosh. We'll get him married again if that's what he wants. And naturally, after our breakup, I decided that was it and that I would never get married again. I'm done. However, I'd really like to remarry. I'm still hopeful about getting married in the future. It won't, however, be as extravagant as Peggy's fairy tale wedding with George that's on MAFS. She concludes, saying, I don't think I want to hang around and plan the wedding for two years at my age when I know the person's right. If it's simply a small, intimate wedding with our closest friends and family, then I don't mind, I'd rather concentrate on the house and kids. However, before I have children, I want to make sure that we are financially secure as a marriage. When the son contacted George's for an interview, he denied being unfaithful to Peggy. I never cheated on her. Instead, it was her actions that drove me away. The kind of manipulation, gaslighting, and constant put-downs that we all witnessed on the show, he declared. Peggy should quit playing that card. I received texts throughout our time together indicating that she was purchasing Christmas items for her ex-boyfriend and personally delivering them. Particularly when I wasn't dishonest. Now it's boring, he continued. Peggy, please stop talking about me since this isn't a thing. 